Buenos Aires. Here we go. We're recording. Haha, <laughs> new technology. Can't be doing it. Hello everybody and welcome to a midday version of Andy Does Ales. And what's you what are you thinking? He's drinking in the middle of the day? Well, technically not true because what I'm gonna do today is an alcohol free one. I got this from our lovely, lovely landlady at the Queen's Head, Nikki. Hi Nick, you're right. And <coughs> she uh, spotted me in her friends. I've got something for you. I said, great, thank you very much. And she produced two bottles of beer that she'd got off the brewery. And uh, she said, just let me know what you think. So I'm going to do that right now. This is Buscombe Brewing Gorham IPA Zero. 0.5% alcohol because it's 0.5% I can drink it in the middle of the day result <laughs> see what it's like now I've had the Gorham IPA the normal one which I think is about 4.8% and that's very nice um, and it's based on that recipe so it should be okay it's a low alcohol IPA with not more than half a percent ABV a refreshing ale made with a punchy blend of English and US hops which balance stone fruit citrus and bitter notes it has all the taste and flavor of a normal ipa but with all the fun taken out <clears throat> i mean with all the alcohol taken out so let's give it a go shall we i'm off to a gig tonight armored saint don't know too much about them but they sound pretty good ah way there it was gone <laughs> right here we go then Let's have a look and see if it behaves like a beer. See if it smells like a beer. See if it tastes like a beer, more importantly. Well, looking at it, do you know what? That looks really good. That's nice and clear. There's a lovely sort of one and a half finger head. Um, not a lot. Of carbonation going on but enough to keep you interested smell wise okay yeah smells like a beer let's hope it tastes like a beer as well here goes thank you very much Nikki for this um, we shall spread the word about the Queen's Head in Kington some good real ales on there and they're on rotation so they get some good stuff cheers everybody Now that is probably about the best non-alcoholic beer I've had. And when you think non-alcoholic beers have come a hell of a long way since the likes of Calibre. And do you remember Calibre? And well, Billy Connolly used to advertise it on the CV. And um, I can't remember the other one now, but they were, they were rough. They were, I've had some rough ones in the past that just taste like... Um, cold cold bovril it's awful but this one mm, it smells like a beer it looks like a beer it tastes like like a beer it does taste like a beer you can tell there's no alcohol in it because it hasn't got that sort of uh, kick or a tang or anything like that but having said that you get the rest of it that is really really nice that would be so refreshing and uh, if i was driving and went in the queen's head in kington i would quite happily have uh, one of these or two of these maybe so yeah worth a try look at that gorham ipa from um <clears throat> buscombe brewing where are they down south somewhere i think they are. let's have a look bristol yeah so 330 ml bottle can't go wrong brilliant really really nice stuff it's good well, no. good job i like it because i've got another one to sup but i won't have that today andy does ales recommends this one very nice indeed go and find yourself some it really is good um 
that's all I can say about it. So thank you very much, Nicky, from the Queen's Head. Uh, let's, uh, let's hope the Queen's Head keeps going and keeps going and keeps going and keeps keep the good ale coming, Nick. We'll be in there as soon as we can, as the job allows. So take care of yourself. We'll see you soon. And uh, I'm going to try this. Bye for now. <laughs>